More than 300,000 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer this year in the United States. While there are some things we cannot control, there are five things you can do to lower that risk. Get your mammogram every year. That's really important. When you get the mammogram, do request tomography, which we also call 3D. That increases the sensitivity of the mammogram. Now, mammograms pick up a lot of breast cancer, but they don't pick up everything. Uh, it's very helpful for your physician, your primary care physician, or your gynecologist to do a breast exam every year as well. If you do both the mammogram and the breast exam, you're picking up 95% of breast cancers, and that really is terrific. Exercise is really key, and when we talk about exercise, we mean 45 minutes, five times a week. That is your goal. It's gonna make you feel better, look better, live longer. It's gonna strengthen your bones. It's gonna help your heart. And it's also gonna reduce your risk of cancer, not just breast cancer, but cancer in general. We think by two to 3%, which is really incredible when you think that this is free and it has so many other benefits. Diet is controversial and there's a lot of diets out there, but I think you can say a few things in general. You want to eat a lot of vegetables. The secret is in the vegetables. There is a lot of stuff in one vegetable. You can't really extract it into a pill. You have to actually eat the vegetables. So get fresh vegetables, cook them wherever where you like, uh, but that's the basis of your diet. Certainly meat is fine, dairy is fine. Uh, most people will tell you white meat rather than red meat, but the important thing is to cut the carbs. Remember the carbohydrates are pasta, bread, potatoes, and rice, and unfortunately also beer and wine. Very important to spend some time outside every day. Do you garden? Do you like to take hikes? Two to three hours a week outdoors. Any way you can get it will make a significant contribution to your overall health. We are doing so much better with breast cancer now than we were just a few years ago. And these few steps that you can take are not difficult, they're free and they will greatly increase your chance of avoiding breast cancer, or if you do develop it, of having it cured without chemotherapy or harsh treatments.